In the 2021.0 release of AlphaCam, we see many new features added to the software. We have created this video to highlight a few of these beneficial features, but if you wish to find additional information on all the features that have been added to AlphaCam 2021.0, please read the What's New document. A link to this is provided so you can download and browse at your leisure. Create a functionality with offcuts in nested sheets. Offcuts in nested sheets have been enhanced to give the user more control. In addition to the existing option to create a single offcut in a nested sheet, you now can choose to have two offcuts generated. From within Automation Manager, this can be accessed from your job configuration settings. Navigate to your nesting options and then to Offcut and Waste Management. Within the Offcut Generation Preference, you can see we have the option for Vertical, then Horizontal Offcut, or Horizontal, then Vertical Offcut. These options also exist if you are nesting from the standard AlphaCam interface. From the Nesting tab, we have Save Offcut, and we can see that we have two new options to generate two offcuts instead of one. These can be saved back into your sheet database if required. The use of solid models in solid manufacturing has become more and more prevalent in recent years so several new tools have been added to AlphaCam to help speed up the processing of these parts. User Layer Support for Solid Models Solid model faces can now be assigned to user layers. I have previously added two new user layers to use for SOAR and through routes. From within Solid Model Utilities, there is a new option Set Face Layer. Using this tool, I can now select the solid faces that I want soaring applied to. With those selected, I can now select soar as the user layer. If I set the face layer again, I can now select these internal edges. and select through routes as the user layer they will be applied to. As these layers have colors defined, I can now easily see which faces have been assigned to user layers. Applying machining styles to solid face layers. I already have the ability to machine directly from a solid face using a router or saw tool. This new feature allows us to create machining styles containing solid machining operations. Using a pre-configured solid face machining style for soaring, I can right click and apply to selected layers. The previously created saw layer is chosen and the machining is automatically applied. I can also make use of auto styles to speed up this process. From machining tab, styles drop down, select edit auto styles. Here I have an auto style to always apply a given machining style to a predefined layer name. If I close this, I can apply by coming to the styles drop down and selecting Apply Auto Style. I choose the auto style I want to apply and the machining is added automatically. The logic used to order soaring for solid model faces has been improved and a minimize angle change option has been added. AlphaCam now orders the operations so that the end of the previous cut is nearest to the start of the next cut. A tick box to minimize angle changes when ordering has also been added. 
I have created two machining styles with and without this option selected and we can see the differences. Without the tick box selected we can see that soaring operations are ordered logically around the part to minimize travel movements. However there is no consideration of tool angle so these vertical cuts require the head to change angle after each operation, increasing machining time. If we now look at our style that uses the minimize angle changes option, we see that the vertical saw cuts are now grouped to minimize the number of times the head needs to change angle, further reducing the machining time. XY stock option added when creating material. The set materials option has now had functionality from the create default material add-in added. When setting material you can now specify the amount of XY stock that needs to be added. I will draw a rectangle around this part. I will hide my part to make this easier and select 3D tab set materials. I select my geometry and confirm. I can now add my material top and bottom Zs as before and include any additional XY stock as required. The drawing updates to show the stock as you enter values. Improvements to geometry node editing. The recently added Edit Geometry by Node tool has had some extra functionality added. We now have options to move or break geometry, convert geometries to lines or arcs, as well as undo and redo options being added. These tools can be useful for quick changes to geometry, for example where imported CAD files have extra geometries that are not required. I have created this drawing to show where these tools can be used. I will come to the Edit tab and select the Edit Geometry by Node tool. I will select this arc and use the Move or Break option within the tool to split this arc with multiple nodes. You can see from the prompt below that Shift and Control keys can be used to break elements or break paths. I will hold shift and split this arc into pieces. I can then adjust each segment if required. If I decide this shape is not required, I can now use the convert to arc tool, select the beginning element and the end element and the geometry will return to a single arc. Similarly with this lower line, I have introduced some artifacts that may be present after a CAD import. To easily clean up these extra segments, I can use the Convert to Line option. Select the first and last elements of the geometry and a line of best fit will be created removing the artifacts. 